Hello and welcome to SSB Crack Exams. This is Hemant and now we are going to discuss the most important defense updates of India and abroad that will help you in your preparation for various examinations. Before beginning, I would like to tell you that SSB Crack Exams is India's largest most preferred online defense examination preparation portal. It is one stop solution for you if you are preparing for NDA, CDS, AFCAT, INET, Territorial Army, Indian Air Force, Airmen Group X and Group Y. You can come on board with us and start off with your preparation in a very detailed and strategic way. You can even follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Telegram and even directly visit us through our website learn.ssbcrackexams.com and even download our app from Google Play Store to have each and every information in your hands. Today is a very special day and today is known as the Armored Corps Day of the Indian Army and I wish each and every defense aspirant and each and every officer who is working in the Indian Army and the Armed Forces of our country a very happy 82nd Armored Corps Day. This Allied Tank Corps celebrates the day with serving veteran officers, fraternity of the corps and other armed services. This day epitomizes traditional Elan, camaraderie and all-round excellence that characterizes the Armored Corps. Courage in the fearful of odds has been the enduring saga of these corps and is exemplified by the awards of two Param Veer Chakras, 15 Mahavir Chakras and 60 Veer Chakras amongst the large number of other gallantry and distinguished service awards bestowed upon its officers and its men. Now we will get to know the more detailed information about what actually the Armored Corps Day is about. Armored Day, in short we call this, it is celebrated on 1st May every year to commemorate the commencement of the mechanization of the Indian Cavalry Regiments. On this day in 1938, the Sindhi Horse was the regiment, it was the first regiment to shed their horses and they became equipped with the tanks and those tanks were Vickers, Light Tanks and Chevrolet Armoured Tanks. They almost looked in this particular way. These are the Vickers Light Tanks and these are the Chevrolet Armoured Cars. Some things to remember is that formed in 1947, this particular corps is one of the combat arms of the Indian Army. It currently consists of 67 armoured regiments including the President's Bodyguards. So President's Bodyguards is that regiment that comes under the armoured corps of the Indian Army. Indian Army's armoured corps have three different equipmental tanks. One is the Arjun main battle tank, the T-72 tank and the T-90 tank which is taken from Russia. T-90 is also known as Bhishma in our country and Arjun is a completely Indian built by uh, tank of the DRDO. Arjun MBT tanks are created in Mark 1 and Mark 2 variants also. Armored Corps School and Center is located at Ahmednagar and as a matter of tradition, each armored regiment has its own colonel of the regiment. This is something very special of the armored corps regiments and the colonel of the regiment is a honorary post for a senior officer who oversees all the regimental issues concerning the unit. Now we will start off with the question of the day that I have posted on 30th of April 2020 which is a very important question for us and that is what is the name of India's indigenously built third generation main battle tank developed by DRDO. I already discussed here and the correct answer for this is Arjun main battle tank. Arjun is designed in March 1974 and is still in use with the Indian Army. Its manufacturer is Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment of DRDO and Heavy Vehicles Factory located at Chennai. One particular tank cost 59, 55.9 crore rupees and it is produced in 2004. Also around 242 tanks of these are built, 124 of these are Mark 1 and 118 of these two are Mark 2. To get more in detail about the Arjun battle tank, this tank has 120mm main rifle gun which has developed with APF SDS means armed piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot, one PKT 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, one NSVT 12.7mm machine gun and has a MTU multi fuel diesel engine which has a power of around 1400 horsepower. A maximum speed is around 67 km per hour. It has Four member crew can sit inside, one commander, one gunner, one loader and one driver. It has automatic fire detection and suppression mechanism inbuilt and anti-tank warhead protection by the newly developed Kanchan armor is also there. 
The first defense update is about the PM Modi holds a meeting to discuss the ways to boost and revive the defense and aerospace sector. This meeting is been going on today. It is attended by the defense minister, the home minister, the finance minister and the minister of state for finance along with many other senior officials of the government of India. Discussions have been going on regarding the functioning of the ordinance factories, the streamlining of the procurement procedures, focused resource allocation and encouraging research and development innovation activities attracting investment in the critical defense technologies and promotion of exports is also being discussed and how to go through make in india with the current indian scenarios have also been discussed by the prime minister shri narendra modi next important update is that the serbian armed forces they have tested an advanced version of ogang missile system this is a very important missile system because its range is around 40 kilometers something very very really large about it it is tested with lrsvm m18 armored cap next important update is about the huntington ingalls delivers guided missile destroyer to us navy this is a early bird class guided missile destroyer which is named as delbert d black who is delbert d black he's a navy veteran actually who served as the gunner's mate and was aboard the battleship of uss maryland while the attacks were going on on pearl harbor during the second world war so this particular early book class guided missile destroyer is named delbert d black ddg 119 Next update is that the US Navy accept delivery of its most expensive destroyer. This is known as USS Zulmold, also known as DDG-1000. This is more powerful than the Arlik Burg class which I have discussed it previously. And this is 100 feet long more and 13 feet wider than the AB class destroyer which is at just 610 feet long. It provides a space to require execute a wider array of surface submarine and aviation missions. This is a very dangerous destroyer and is very very extremely powerful destroyers which is available in the world today. Next important update is that Eelson Air Force Base which is located at Alaska. This base reserved its first two F-35A Lightning II fighter aircrafts. With a total of 54 aircrafts are there here. They have to be scheduled to arrive by December 2021. Among these 54, two have been arrived to Alaska uh, Air Base, um, Eelson Air Force Base and these will be most concentrating state of art for the combat coded and fifth generation fighter aircrafts. The state will also continue to be a premier training location as a home to the joint Pacific Alaska range complexes, 75,000 square miles of airspace. Next important update is that the Saab delivers the first Global Eye surveillance aircraft to the United Arab Emirates on 29th April. Global Eye is a very new AVAX provider. AVAX means Early Air Airborne Warning and Control System. This is an air, maritime and ground surveillance in a single solution provided at a single time. Global Eye combines the Saab's new area extended range radar and the range of additional advanced sensors with ultra long range global 6000 aircraft from Bombardier. Next important update is about the Lockheed Martin provides new details of its innovative radar technology. This is known as Q53. This has the ability to detect, classify, track and determine the location of the enemy fire in either 360 or 90 degree modes. The system provides enhanced performance including greater mobility, increased reliability, supportability, lower life cycle cost and reduced crew size. Next update is that the American largest shipbuilder acquired Hydroid and it awarded Navy's contract for underwater unmanned underwater vehicle Mark 18 system. This is America's, what is that America's largest military shipbuilding company that is Huntington Ingalls which I have discussed it before too. This particular industries have acquired the Hydroid Incorporated, this company which is a leading provider of advanced marine robotics. Hydroid was also responsible for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance uh, applications and Hydroid's underwater unmanned vehicles, they deliver the sensors to sensitive areas collecting data which is very important for us. So. Hydroid located Air France Flight 447 wreckage and even generated a 3D mapping of Titanic before. Their vehicles offer scientists a data relevant to climate change and other environmental issues. Work of all of this will be performed in Pocasset at Massachusetts and it is expected to complete by April 2024. Next important update is that about the Belgian fighter which uh, jets that interpret the Russian aircraft 
of the Estonian coast. This happened on Tuesday where the Belgian Air Force have reported that its F-16 fighter jets have intercepted a Russian A-50 mainstay. This is Russian A-50 mainstay. This has been uh, fixed with the AVAC system and an AN-26 transport plane, both of these, while they were flying off the Estonian coast. And both of these were flying without even maintaining any kind of necessary radio contacts. So these were escorted by the F-16 fighter jets. Next important update is that the Colt FN America tabbed for M16A4 production for foreign military sales. The meaning of tabbed is that they are appreciated in a statement in Wednesday. The Department of Defense of the United States said that both the companies will compete for each other of around 3,833 contract uh, dollar contract to provide M16A4 rifles for Afghanistan, Grenada, Iraq, Lebanon and Nepal. M16A4 rifle is the fourth generation of legendary M16 series weapon system. I will go more in detail about what actually is this particular system is about. This is generally an M16A4 rifle, a very good image is given for you. The, this particular rifle is chambered to fire around 5.56 by 45 mm which is around 0.223 NATO cartridge and it is semi-automatic 3 round burst fire capabilities are included in this and the cartridges are magazine fed and firing is achieved via direct impingement gas operating mechanism. A very interesting feature of this particular rifle is that the barrel, this particular, uh, the barrel which, which is from here to here, this is known as the barrel. So the barrel is, is always in the same axis with the butt stock. This is known as the butt. Okay. The butt and the barrel are both in the same axis. This is something really, really interesting for this. The main advantage of having this kind of system, this kind of design is that whenever the gun recoils, an ordinary gun will recoil upward, but this particular rifle will recoil backward. So that is very important. And this particular rifle reduces the muzzle climb. So this is the muzzle, the area which is located here, that is muzzle. Whenever the firing commences, this muzzle will move up and down. So this particular muzzle climb will be reduced and it increases the particular accuracy because muzzle climb moving up and down is reduced. So obviously the accuracy will also be increased by this particular rifle. Next important update is, uh, is about the Swiss Army to receive modern 120mm motor systems. This is an advanced version of Morgia 16 120mm self-propelled motor carrier. This system consists of Rua Cobra motor system that mounted on Piranha 5 wheel vehicle. The advanced version of motor 16 motor systems will eventually be delivered in 2024 and still they are under progress. Next update is now we will have a very quick review on what all things we have discussed. So. The first important question is full form of UUV is the correct answer is unmanned underwater vehicle. Okay. Next important question is Lockheed Martin is going to prepare which among the following advanced radars in the world and the answer for this is space fence. This I have not discussed. I have to tell you that Lockheed Martin is a very innovative radar work includes developing radar systems with open scalable architectures exploring sensor convergence and developing delivering next generation radar products. Lockheed Martin is developing space fence which is most advanced radar in the world and both of these products are very importantly designed for complex threats and both are critical for protecting US people which both I am discussing one is about the space fence and one is about the Q53 which I have mentioned in the same video here before you can go back and check about that. Next important question is the firing in M16A4 rifle is achieved via this particular mechanism is achieved through the direct impingement gas operating system. Next important question is which class destroyers of US Navy are the most lethal are they Arlik Burg or O'Brien or Zumwalt or Truxton the answer for this is Zumwalt thing that I have to discuss is that Zumwalt class destroyers are most lethal and sophisticated destroyers ever built they provide deterrence and forward presence by bringing today's innovation with future technologies. These destroyers maximize stealth, size, power, computing capacity, fielding an array of weapon systems and cutting its technologies to fight forces in air, on water, underwater, sea and land. Zoom World class destroyers are built around $4 billion per piece while as the Arlik Burg class destroyers are built at around $1.3 billion per piece.
नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज एन इंटरसेप्शन ऑफ ए फिफ्टीन मेन स्टे एयरक्राफ्ट ऑफ रशिया फ्लाइंग ऑफ द एस्टोनियन कोस्ट विच हैड इंक्लूडेड विद एवैक सिस्टम दिस पर्टिकुलर इंटरसेप्शन वॉज डन बाई एफ सिक्सटीन फाइटर जेट्स ऑफ विच कंट्री इज इट ऑस्ट्रिया और बेल्जियम और पोलैंड और स्विटरलैंड द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस इज बेल्जियम नाउ वी विल हैव द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे वी हैव फिनिश द डिस्कशन ऑफ द करेंट डिफेंस अपडेट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे इज How many tandem cockpits does the fastest air breathing manned aircraft had? This manned aircraft is not under use as of today. Still, this air breathing manned aircraft, this aircraft has recorded the fastest speeds ever, fastest air speeds ever. And how many tandem cockpits does this particular aircraft had? The answer for this, I will be discussing with you in the next session. Until then, stay home, stay safe, and I hope so that you are following the SSB Crack Exams channel. Please subscribe to us, follow our channel, and download our app from Google Play Store. Have a great day and Jai Hind.